your host, Emma, and I hope you had an awesome day. I'm going to tell you about another show by Podcast Playground while you floss and get your toothbrush ready, so go ahead and get started with that. Wacky News is hosted by Jackson and Dylan. They are kids just like us, and each episode, with the help of the Wacky News Machine, they bring us a cool news story from around the world that is actually interesting to kids, not boring adult news. Each episode also has a number of kid-friendly wacky jokes that are sure to make you giggle. If you subscribe to Wacky News, you will always get the latest episodes and can impress your friends with cool stories and funny jokes on the bus, at school, during lunch, or whenever you want. Just go to podcastplayground.com to learn more about and subscribe to Wacky News. Now it's time to get those teeth of yours brushed. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is sound. Sound is energy that is made by vibrations. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air. The air particles then bump into each other and then bump into others. This continued bumping causes a sound wave. Sound waves are also called pressure waves because they move the particles they are passing through. String instruments are played when fingers or a bar are pressed down on the strings. This pressure changes the string's length, causing them to vibrate at different frequencies and make different sounds. Shortening a string makes it sound higher, while lengthening a string can produce a lower sound. Strings also produce different sounds depending on how thick they are. The scientific study of sound waves is known as acoustics. Sound waves can bend around corners and obstacles. The ear is not the only detector people and animals have. Sound waves can even be felt by different parts of the body. Sometimes you can feel the vibrations thunder makes while you are actually hearing it. The human ear that is attached to the side of the head acts as a funnel to catch sounds. Vibrations travel in through the ear to the auditory nerve, which passes them on to the auditory center in the brain. Once in the brain, the messages come in super fast in a confusing, jumbled mix, but the brain has the ability to sort and organize them. This is how we can understand the sounds we hear as music or human speech. Did you know that most cows produce more milk when they listen to music? Elephants communicate in sound waves below the frequency that humans can hear. Sound travels 15 times faster through steel than air and it travels 10 times faster through granite than air. When baby polar bear cubs are born, they cannot see or hear for the first month. Costagophobia is the fear of noises, and melophobia is the fear of music. And you're done! Weren't those two minutes easy? And don't forget to go to podcastplayground.com and subscribe to Toothy Trivia so you can get every episode and never rush your brushing again.